My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. We're joined by Marcus and Mallory, and we're going to talk about some stuff. Oh, we agreed on Mark and Mal. We'll figure out the Marcus stuff by the end of this. They go by Mark and Mal. It's a formal introduction, and then you casual it up. James, pretty big trip for us. We went to Fenway. We were sitting on the monster. Oh, my God. That was a good time. Good to be back in the bean. Nice summer night. Oh. So are you walking into a lot of poles, balls first. Hello. <laughs> anyway, can you tell me what happened in the sports? James, in the sports, we're going to start in the world of baseball. And there's one team we need to talk about that hasn't been talked about in about five years. Your Baltimore Orioles. They're the hottest team in baseball. They're on an eight-game win streak. I'm just showing it because it's orange. And the Orioles are having fun, and they might be out of the woods. They're still in last place. Toughest division in baseball. Two games back, the first time they've won eight in a row since 2005. And I got to tell you something, they got the floppy hat night. The crowd, they were showing all the crowd shots. They were like anxious. They had hope. Yeah. They had nerves. And I don't think that's existed in Baltimore since the Manny Machado, Zach Britton Orioles team. Did you see our guy Kevin was there? Oh, is he? You have floppy hat on? Yeah. Shirtless. Shirtless floppy hat. Our guy Kevin. Really? Yeah. Adley Rushman. Interesting name on both ends. Out of 10. 3, 2, 1. 4.1. 3. 4. 1. Yeah. yeah, okay. We're close. It's interesting, but it's not good. He is awesome. He's like a little sweet doll. You see the way he greets the pitcher? Big old doll. Oh, he's, he's a little massive. sweet guy. He's a little sweet guy. <laughs> you see, both of I'm us. talking about his personality. Oh. You see, like after every inning, he greets the pitcher like at the mound. It was like, good job, dude. Formal. Good job. It's for the birds, man. Go Orioles. Go, oh. Jimmy, this is almost a breakdown. You were telling me about this. I think it ties into last week. I think it ties into the animal theme for the second half of the show. We got another cricket breakdown here. This is some like country club in a city outside Paddington, which is outside London. It's a ridiculous turn of events. So the ball is hit. No, it's bo the ball is bold. The keeper catches it. He tries to sneak attack the one batsman and, and throws it at the wickets. His glove flies off and the ball just trickles down. That's... Normal enough, fine. Then the guy, the runner on the far end takes off, which is a really dumb decision because there's no, his partner's not going. The bowler or the fielder on the other end grabs the ball. Now, Jake, all he has to do is grab that ball. He slips. He has to crawl and just bonk the wickets and the batsman would be out. Instead, he tries like this superhero dive throw, completely misses it, and they don't get the out. Pretty embarrassing play. Bad. His teammates take turns going hands on head. Just like, what are you doing? Three guys making bad mistakes in five seconds. That was almost a breakdown, and let's throw it back to more sports. Wow, sports are at DraftKings. Go place your bets. You could win. Be responsible. And we need to talk about the big event this weekend, Wimbledon. Your guy, Kyrgios, don't try to lick through that paper. Don't try to lick through that paper. Jim, we're not talking about the tennis at all. We're talking about the protector of the night, uh, Rufus, the Wimbledon chief bird. They're a hawk. I don't know if they're a guy or a lady. I guess Rufus, I'd assume a guy. Uh, and Rufus has been at Wimbledon for years uh, fighting off pigeons from coming on the court. This is like when you have a like places, the community has a pond, and they get that swan in there to fight off all the geese. I didn't realize they had this for pigeons. Or like Mickey, the, uh, Disneyland has the cats to fight off the mice. Right. This is a mean bird. I don't think we should celebrate it. It's a working bird. And they're being mean to it. So that's why he's so angry. You know, that's why the bird is so ornery. Because, like, they're like, Rufus gets here at 5 a.m. and spends all day scaring off pigeons. Like, what do you... But his eyesight. He can read a newspaper from across yeah, the court. they did say that. They said he could read a newspaper from across a football field. Rufus can't read. You had an interesting counter to that. Wrong. <laughs> Still a bird. Still just a bird. Still a bird. How many people at Wilmington do you think has been attacked by Rufus because they brought a stuffed animal of a pigeon and, and was wearing it on their shoulder? Zero. Jimmy, this is not sports. You'd kind of naturally assume we wouldn't be into this. We are hyper into this. I wasn't into this. I saw the headline. We have a bunch of options for not sports that we can talk about. And I was like, eh, that doesn't seem cool. And then I kept scrolling and here's what it is. Pringles. Yes, those Pringles. Sorry, yeah. I'm writing articles. Now. Yeah, yes. That was the second. That was the actually the first line of the article after the headline. Pringles. Yes, Yes, those, those Pringles. Pringles. Pringles wants to name a spider after itself. It already has a name. Our printer didn't work, so I can't read it. It's called like the Kinsey 
kidney it's got a name bug it's like any other animal. they're like this should, this should be called the pringle spider because it looks just like our mustache pringle mascot and then you scroll down and you look at it and you're like yeah a, hard to argue against this you click the article and you're like okay pringles like what are we doing here and then you see the bug and you're like yeah that is the pringle have you spider. seen the bug yet zach is a pringle spider just google pringle spider it'll come up zach said oh it looks like you painted a Pringles logo on a spider. I don't know why they have to get it officially named. Like anyone that sees that spider is going to refer to it as the Pringle spider. And then that's how you colloquialize the name or whatever. Like it just becomes a Pringle spider. They're giving away 1500 Pringles for people that will sign, sign it. 1500 Pringles. It's not like a lot. It's not a lot. It wasn't a lot of number. I think they need like 1,500 <laughs> like signatures. Of Pringles can't be single Prings. Dude, that's what it, no, not a single <laughs> Pringles, but like a thing. 15,000 Pringles. If it's officially recognized by the Arachnid community, Pringles said it will give away 1,500 free cans to the first 1,500 signatures. It's not like a crazy amount. Like what would you do for a single free can of a Pringles, nothing. Pay $5 twice a year. <laughs> it's the employee of the week. Someone earned it. They did earn it. Which is rare around this fucking dump. <laughs> Double entendre. Triple. Ian Happ. Ian Happ is an all-star. You know what? I wonder which one he's going to be more excited about. Or this. And we're going to go to L.A. and we're going to see him play in the All-Star game. Yes. Maybe we'll hang out with him because the whole crew's going. We're going to Boomtown Brewery during the All-Star game. You're welcome to join us if you're in L.A. Just come on by. There's a VIP event where you can meet all the friendly places and faces of John Boy Media uh, if you want beforehand. And then we're just going to watch the game. So there's a link, I think. Oh. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. They are giving new customers a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's right. Make your first bet up to $1,000, and if it doesn't win, you'll get another shot to cash in. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Make your first deposit and get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code JOHNBOY only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Paddington as a name. As like a person? You seen the bear movie? Really? You haven't seen Paddington the bear? I have Doesn't not, it have I, like the I, highest I, views on rot, or the best Rotten Tomatoes grade? Paddington 2. Well, best sequel? I thought it was like number one movie all time. Best sequel or best movie all time? Highest rated Rotten Tomato. I'm not good at using the internet. I don't know how to find it. Fourth film to score 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. In May, on May 28th, 2021, it lost the top spot to... Rush Hour 2. <laughs> Just got like an image of Paddington. It's fun. It made me laugh. It's electric. It's kind of built like me. Who did it lose it to? Citizen Kane? Fucking, I don't care, dude. I don't... Ugh. Yeah. Yeah.